to your March 2020. This is going to be the what aren't they telling you for the beautiful sign of Virgo. Wow, Virgos, I'm very shocked. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Um, whatever I said last week must have really touched the nerve with you. I know the videos uh, for your energy on the channel lately has been very leave this person. They're toxic, blah, blah, blah. I hope that that doesn't come out today. Um, I was shuffling and thinking about you guys and hoping that we can get some of that same good energy that we had last week. It was actually very good. One of the best readings that we had in that week, and you guys definitely responded, so thank you. Um, you are, let's see, six, seven, you're number eight. And normally in my, you know, six, seven, and eight slot is the water signs, but cancer dropped, which was weird. But, um, you know, that's why I do this. So, you know, the energy shifts and everybody gets a turn, right? All right. Thank you so much, Virgo. Let's go ahead. This is going to be the what aren't they telling you? Okay. For the beautiful sign, interesting, of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're going to be taking a look and seeing what examine your part. What examine? What influenced your partner's energy last week? Let's go ahead and see what we can do. Show me spirit. Oh. Is that right? Okay. Let's see what we got. Show me spirit. For Virgo, that flipped up. Uh-oh. See, I don't like it. I don't like it. Uh-uh. I'm doing this again. I tried. I ain't like either one of them. For some of you guys, you're discovering something. For others of you, you're letting something go. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. We're going to do it. Show me spirit for Virgo and their partner. Oh, God. That's even worse. <laughs> what is going on this week? Oh, my goodness gracious. What is going on, Virgo? Ugh. Oh, we're back to hiding this week. Ugh. I tried so hard. Let me see what this one is. Oh, okay. I'm going to keep all four of these, and I'm not going to tell you what it is yet until I get your supporting cards. I'm going to hide from you. Let's see. Because the one that actually fell on the floor and went flying across the room is the one that's beautiful. So let's see. What? The energy. Thank you. Between, okay, optimism and hope between Virgo and their partner for the week of the 15th through the 21st. Spirit, show me, please. Okay. All right. A okay. I like this so far. Ace of Swords. There is a brand new truthful beginning. Cl oh, clarity. Uh-oh, but there is a fear of loss. Someone was holding back possibly with the four of coins, but then we have a ten of pentacles. So you're afraid of losing money. You could be holding back something. And then, oh, okay. So I see some trepidation here. Wow. Seven of wands in reverse. That's interesting. Nine of wands upright. Okay. So I'm still not going to give you that yet. So we have the star. So there's some hope, healing, and optimism with this Aquarian energy. We do have a brand new truthful clarity, well, clarity and truthful, purposeful um, beginning in something. Maybe that's an improvement in your communication with you and your partner, which was good. Um, in the heart of the matter, we do have possession, holding on to something, holding on to the coin right now. That makes sense, though, guys, because of everything that's going on. Um, Virgo, you're definitely, you could be a worry wart. I'm not sure what, um, not quite sure what you're connecting with right now. We have everything. We have air, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We have earth, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. We have fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, actually we have everything here, but water. So you could be connecting with either one of these, but this could make some sense. We're going to start to get some other cards, but, you know, right now that's the energy that your partner is in. Um, there is a 10 of coins, which is good. 
um, your abundance, okay, in your treasure chest. Maybe you guys did a good job at putting money away. Um, so there is a sense of building between you and this person. And it looks like, um, you know, that is a, that that's your abundance with each other. Um, very, very, very good financial planning, possibly. Um, you're surviving through this, this mess right now. That's good. You both possibly are still gainfully employed. That's even better. But there is something here with the Ten of Wands. So there is a need to want to unburden. Um, there is a couple of tens. So some things are going to be resetting, resetting themselves. One is your abundance and this is uh, your, um, this is the Ten of Wands. So something is over ta ta taxing you too hard, burdening you and your partner, uh, basically. Seven of Wands is showing up in reverse. Now, you know, Seven of Wands upright. Let's talk about it. You know, we're talking about, you know, defensiveness type energy. Um, we're talking about <clears throat> getting it from all ends. When I don't read reversals, but if they pop up like that, you know I'm going to take them. Um, in reverse, this is not being defensive, it is being the, the opposite of everything, but you were there. The energy is still there. Um, so um, there was something that you took a stand about or your partner took a stand about. And now, you know, they're deciding, you know, I'm going to maybe ease up a bit. Um, but it's hard for me to do that. It's very, very hard for me to do that with this nine of wands. I'm still trying not to take a stand on something as much, as much, I'm still going to fight the good fight. Um, and I, and with that nine of wands energy, I still have a little bit more stamina to go. Now, when I'm looking at these cards, I now I see which one kind of fits into this one. I'm still not gonna tell you, Virgo, okay? So there's a need here to want to be hopeful. Um, what is this stand being taken about? Let's see. Show me, spirit. So the first thing we have is love yourself first. So someone here feels like they've been too busy doing other things for other people. And maybe it's time for them to take a step back and start loving on themselves. Um, the self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Give me something else, spirit. Um, I do see what card I feel like, um, especially in this um, Nine of Wands and Seven of Swords energy. I really do feel, I'm sorry, Seven of Wands and Nine of Wands, not Swords. Reconciliation. So I already know what this is. There's definitely been a need of what? Going back and forth. So now I see... And that's what I'm going to start doing, too. I'm just going to let them fly out. And how the cards go is exactly what we're going to do. Back and forth. Setting the intention. There's something that you guys are going back and forth about. You're definitely not seeing eye to eye on something this, this week. But there's a lot of, um, or last week. But there's a lot of positive energy your way. Let's see. Last card here, Spirit for Virgo and their partner. Week of the 15th through the 21st. Show me, please. Show me, please. I'm going to take off the top. Show me. Yes, making an effort. So great love is worth taking the steps you're being guided to take. Okay, so that's sort of showing me what's going on. Let's go into setting an intention here. The intention suite or suit is, um, is what... Where are we? Okay. It's what is influencing this. Yes, there's two choices. There's a choice here. Mental and energetic focus right now. There is a choice. A, a, there, you stuck. Stuck between two choices and going back and forth because you're unsure or even afraid. In fact, you may have been in this place for quite a while. 
You may be considering a new career direction, creative project, or investment choice. You could be asking yourself to stay in your present relationship, or you are stopped by confusion or self-doubt. Fear of making the wrong choices right now causes you to make no decision at all. Your energy is stagnant, perpetuating the same old feelings and results. It's time to get off the seesaw and pick the best direction for you. I don't know. I do feel that there is a very back and forth energy because there's a lot of hope, healing, and optimism, but there's a lot of trepidation. It's like if I go, like, do I do I leave and unburden myself of some type of burden this person is feeling? Or do I stay and continue to secure my, tre my treasure chest here? Um, I feel like, let's get some blockages before the oracle cards down here. I feel like the answer is going to come only because the truth is here. So the person is looking at the truth of the matter now. There's definitely something, I do see reconciliation. Um, they were taking the stand to do something, possibly leave, and then they came in in the reverse. Um, they were taking the stand, being very defiant and convicted to leave. They were very, and, and, and now that energy is not coming in as strong. All right, so yes. We have gratitude. I am thankful for this life and the opportunity. Someone is not happy here, Virgo. I am attracted to those who serve my higher good. Someone feels taken advantage of. I can release my need to control. Surrender. Hmm. And then fear. So this card definitely talks about all of these. I realize that I'm testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. Okay. The problem here is, is that I don't see. The energy is past you now. The decision must be made. The energy of making a choice to do something is past you. I'm seeing a reconciliation here. So if this was leaving... And they're struggling with, with wanting to know what they should do. Show me spirit. I feel like looking at the reconciliation card, they've already made their mind up. But they didn't like that choice. Friend zones is what I see. Still friends, just friends. So, yeah. Someone just wants to be friends here. Show me. I don't like this at all. God dog it, Virgo. I don't like it. I'm going to get another one. And that's flying. Where did it go? There we go. I have to get out the frame. Uh-oh, reckless. Sagittarius just had this. It could be. That could be letting us know why they leave and decide they're going to do what's best for them. There is reckless behavior. They come back to play savior. Virgo, I kind of feel like this is how they feel about you. Well, obviously, this is what they're not telling you. They're trying to make a decision. And they're on one hand, they want to leave. And on the other hand, they want to stay. This isn't good. No, you hang up. This is a card of moving on. It could be an energy... Hmm. Wow. Let's get some angel answers here. It could be an energy here between you two of a person leaves and then they're talked into coming back with the lengthy, exciting conversations. Um, I really do feel like this person has reluctantly come back into your life, but they don't really want to be there. Energy certainly changed. But not all of the energy is the same. So for some of you guys, they're asking help for others because they're trying to figure it out. Wow. They just want to be friends. That's interesting. A year from now. So someone is definitely stuck 
back and forth and they're they're setting the intention to do nothing right now intentionally they're decided to because they're afraid they're afraid if you believe wow virgo someone wants to leave away from leave this relationship due to the recklessness of it always happen to pick someone up off the floor come in and trust come in and yeah here we go the mute this and there's something better come in and always a sense of having to clean up a mess they're not happy with doing that they're hopeful that there's going to be something better but they can't get out of this back and forth energy they leave and decide that they want to do something for them and then they're pulled back in to do something else for you virgo this could be vice versa you guys let me know i have no idea where this came from especially in lieu of all of the stuff that went on last week um the fear could be that they've invested so much in this relationship but they go back and forth with should i leave or should i stay and I don't see the energy why. I see bits and pieces. Um, they're afraid to launch out on their own. They feel like they're not appreciated. They feel like they constantly have to clean up a mess, but they're not being taken at, they're not being taken care of. And what they put in, they're not getting out. But that is what I'm feeling intuitively. This person is stuck and they can't fit, make their mind up. They just, they feel like you guys are be uh, better as friends. They really do. Um, so I don't know, a new group of you Virgos going through someone, uh, going through something that, as of last week, if you are experiencing um, any type of weirdness with the person, but they haven't left, this is what they're not telling you. They really do feel like there's have, there has been reckless behavior and they really just want to be friends, Okay like share and subscribe to the marvelous tribe um this is not necessarily what i thought it was going to be but um needless to say the energy is what it is um like i said they're going but they're tired they're tired so they decided to come out of that defiant energy but they definitely are tired um i'm sorry hope it resonates with somebody let me know like, share, subscribe to The Marvelous Tribe. Um, I will see you guys next week when we do it again. Anything that you need to know about what I've done, the cards that I've used, everything is below. Bye, Virgo.